Hi, Zachary Burns here, N8ZAK, and uh, we're still uh, continuing our, our discussion with the GR Level 3 software, and uh, I'm just going to kind of go through some of the things, um, and I may do a, another video just because uh, some of the current storm activity across the nation isn't showing us some of the advanced uh, or more dangerous storms, uh, so we're probably going to skip some of these for now, but I'll just tell you about them and what they are. The uh, mesocyclones here, what this means is what the uh, mesocyclones means right here is the amount of rotation within a storm. So um, you'll see these as, as sort of circular, just like we see with these triangles here uh, within the storm, these triangles, you'll actually see little circles. Um, whether they're um, uh, solid circles or uh, dashed circles, circles with arrows. If they're dashed circles, um, it means there's a rotation that's elevated. If they're solid circles, there's some, some rotation uh, in the storm that's uh, more toward the ground. It does not indicate a tornado. It just indicates that there's some rotation within the storm. So no tornado has been spotted, no tornado has been seen, it just means there's rotation there, uh, just some possibilities just to, to look out for. The uh, TVS or ETVS signature uh, is technology that the National Weather Service has been looking at and it uh, indicates that there's a strong possibility um, of, of uh, I won't say tornado, but tornado-like rotation within a storm. So it means nothing was spotted, nothing was seen, but there's a possibility of uh, a strong cyclonic or, or activity that could be construed as a tornado. So it just means that uh, further study needs to be done on that certain cell. Um, but again, uh, nothing spotted, nothing seen, but something that's very, very dangerous um, to uh, to, to keep an eye out on. Um, you can see some of these storms here we're tracking uh, in the uh, Georgia area. Um, these are not very uh, strong storms. Uh, here's some, some rain, uh, half an inch of rain per hour, uh, nothing too big. Tops of these clouds. This one's actually grown in the past, uh, you know, couple minutes that I've been tracking it. Uh, so you can see here it's actually starting uh, over the past, uh, this has actually been the past uh, 10 minutes or so, we're actually getting tops of uh, the storms near uh, 50,000 feet. So they're building and intensifying as they're moving uh, northeast here. Um, so it's something that's, uh, that's getting, a, looks like getting a little stronger. And here's the uh, sort of base reflectivity. Um, and uh, you know, here's the, the 0.5 inclination and here's the 3.5 degree inclination. Just tells a little bit of uh, a, sort of a different uh, look at the uh, structure of the storm. Um, some of the uh, storm velocities, this will tell you how fast a storm is moving. So um, nothing real fast here. Looks like these storms are moving um, and range rings kind of help you out here too a little bit um, but these storms are only moving at about uh, they're pretty stationary they're almost moving you know 0 to 10 knots uh, maybe maybe 20 knots tops so 30 40 miles an hour nothing too uh, too fast or, or damaging it looks like um, and that was under the products storm relative velocity um, Nothing else in here that's too uh, interesting to look at. There's some other ones you can kind of play with. Um, different looks at the storm. Uh, overall, it's probably not going to help you determine what's happening. Uh, it just kind of gives you a different look. So uh, that kind of just wanted to cover some of the mesocyclones and the TVS and the and the ETVS settings here, uh, just so you can get a kind of a feel as to what they are going to. Uh, going to tell you. So anyway, uh, that wraps up kind of my overview of the GR Level 3 product. My name is Zachary Burns.
amateur radio operator and weather enthusiast and my call sign is N8ZAK that's November 8 Zulu Alpha Kilo and you can find me on the internet at www.n8zak.com thank you